hello and welcome back so now uh, in this video we are going to understand another interesting example of html and css experiments and this is uh, a fixed nav bar i mean which have a sidebar and which is full of icons and uh, which can be hidden like this so this is the experiment which we are going to do now um, so how it works is so initially it was like uh, you have some content just assume you have a content and you have a bus icon so when i click on this particular icon it just displays the sidebar and whichever the content which you are looking for so you can select if you don't want that you can just hide back so it will show and hide this hamburger menu it will show and hide your entire sidebar so most of the uh, like dashboard websites uh, will have this type of option so let's let's make this example now so if you don't want to miss this type of interesting videos so please do subscribe to my channel right now so now let's jump into this example so um i have editor open so in this i create a folder called 04 hyphen um icon bars something like that and uh, uh, no image required so just one html and one css and one javascript yes javascript required here okay now i'll say link uh, style.css and this will be what um, icon bars okay and at the body of at the end of the body section i'll add uh, script.js okay so let me open this in a browser so open in sorry not in terminal open in default browser yes it's a browser fine so let's make this structure of icons and then we'll proceed with the style sir uh, before we add uh, how to get the icons so i have explained earlier like in expanding cards somewhere so we have icons right no i think somewhere in yeah rotating navbar we have icons correct yes this guy so let me copy this Sorry. let me copy this the font awesome and i'll add it over here okay fine and now um okay so let's jump into our html so I have added this font awesome. You can just search, on, search online. Um, here, hmm, first I'll write a class called icon icon bars. Okay. Hmm, in this, I just add an I anchor tag, some hash, and in this I have an icon uh, icon with the class fa f fa fa minus home. Uh, see I'm not getting any hint right home icon and all uh, hint are not coming so you can do one thing you can just copy this you can get the local file okay so this is actually the style sheet so you can just uh, save as font awesome okay so I already have a font awesome in my downloads so let me go to the downloads once because I want a local file for font awesome yeah I just need a local file so I will uh, paste the local file of font awesome so that it will give you the automatic class names okay you don't need to uh, you know um, remember them so once I given the font awesome dot CSS see here if I say F A C all the icon names are coming right away okay that's the one uh, I don't need this yeah I have a home icon like what we have home uh, this is search envelope globe uh, let's copy home FA minus search and uh, FA minus globe okay oh, envelope search globe uh, trash user and pencil so this is for fa minus trash uh, trash and uh, what else um, user 
FEA user and uh, the last one FEA minus pencil for edit option okay pencil okay let's check yeah I have uh, icons and also I have another icon this one this is bars icon so this will be like another division with a class called bars and in that an icon with the class FEA minus FEA minus bars okay I have a bars icon okay I got uh, all the icons and uh, let me give for the first one because the first one is having a green in color and remaining a lot in black so I want to highlight this color so I will give for the first one is class call active okay now it's it says we are on a home page like that okay um, HTML structure is ready now I can check yeah let's make them CSS go to style sheet so I'll add for a body body background color some dark uh, uh, gray color okay oh it is just not dark gray it is light uh, gray color okay fine now uh, I want to convert all these icons to be this this like this okay so that is with the class what uh, icon bars okay so I say that icon bars um, here let me give first um, you base chicken out of one family but mostly there is no content right yeah so uh, let's add a background background color is gray color okay but uh, there is some space around that is actually margin let's say margin zero okay and uh, uh, let's make the width of it so I say width come on width some um, 100 pixels 100 pixels and height uh, height I'll say 100 viewport height okay and anything else uh, I think that's fine but what about icons let's add for icons uh, icon bar space anchor tag that is inside icon um, let's say um, display in a block so it display like one after the other but keep it in the center so text align center and fine and let's make is uh, a bigger font size so font size some um, 2.5 rem okay and also the we need a padding some space around them so padding I'll give some 1.5 rem yes you got a padding and something is missing right uh, envelope is missing okay where is envelope after search uh, one second in HTML after search we have another one for FEA minus envelope okay fine yep okay fine um, so we got all the icons yes exactly mm, uh, what about the color so I go with the color color white okay and for the uh, active class I want some other color so let's say dot icon bar space a dot active the anchor tag of the class called active background color some see green color okay like that so fine and what about the hover effect um, I say dot icon uh, sorry, icon bar space a colon hover a colon hover let's say the background uh, color to be black okay you have a background color is black that's fine okay we made this part but uh, this one okay this icon bars to be somewhere here so for that what I do is uh, the parent section I'll take it as relative and this icon I'll take it as a absolute okay so that I can keep it uh, at the particular position okay so back to icon bars I'll say position is relative 
okay and uh, it what location is just stop zero and uh, uh, left uh, zero position and this bars icon uh, this is a class called bars mm, I'll uh, write here only dot bars okay bars uh, I'll say position is absolute position absolute and uh, where you want to keep it so from top uh, some 20 pixels top 20 pixels but uh, left uh, how much left some 120 pixels because the size of this width is 100 right so 120 means somewhat here and let's increase the size of it let's say font size some um, 2.5 ram okay and the color is gray okay that's fine yeah we had a structure now so the another next step is when i click on this one it should hide off click again to uh, come back okay so how you make this possible is uh, you need to apply some translate x so for example for icon bars so transform translate x minus 100 percent so 100 percent means how much width of your entire element will be hidden okay so it's been completely hidden if i make it to a zero it will show okay so i want minus 100 to hide it back okay so when i click on this it should show so show means when i click on this i'll add a class called show so on top of show it will show so how it works is so for example when you, the moment you click on this particular button the moment you click on this particular button it will add a class called show so whenever show class is there on that element so that icon so just say dot show so when show is there it will be displayed so let's make zero percent so now i have added show manually so we can display if you don't have a show it will be hidden okay that way fine that's all and um, okay now when i click on this i want to add a class called show click again it will hide it's like a toggle so for that i need uh, to go with uh, javascript so i need two classes two elements icon bars to be show and this bars to be click so let's go to javascript so let bars element is equal to some document dot query selector of bars okay bars or bar uh, bars okay and this is icon bars okay let's icon bars element is equal to a uh, document dot query selector of icon bars okay so the moment I click on the bars element, so bars element dot add event listener of click. So when I perform a click event on that, so I want to apply the class. So I write like this. Um, uh, easy method I tell you, a icon bars dot classless dot toggle. Yeah, it's a, it's a JavaScript method. Uh, toggle of the class called show. So what happen if this class is not there it will add if it is there it will remove okay so we can write toggle function that's all so now uh, i think it's done yeah and there is no show manually it is added by the javascript okay let's check i refresh so click it it shows click again it hides fine but there is no smooth transition so um last one go to icon bars i'll say transition all 0 0.5 seconds and some linear okay if i add the transition effect so what happens here is when i click on it it shows and click again it hides okay so this is your example okay so 
that's it a simple experiment on html and css so thank you so much for joining and uh, let's meet in the next video for another concept and please do subscribe to my channel thank you